Hi everybody, I'm JustGamers and welcome back to another episode today of our F1 career. Episode 2 this is, in the last episode we uh, finished P11, which is, uh, all things considered, a very nice start to the season. Um, but yeah, hopefully we can do well today around Jeddah, because Jeddah is a very, very good track of mine. Um, one of my favourite tracks to actually drive in, so... Expecting big things today, but yeah, right now we're deciding what uh, upgrades to get, and uh, and yeah, we're gonna start off with this weight reduction upgrade. Um, yeah, just to make our car a little bit lighter and a little bit more nimble, basically. Um, and we have enough to purchase another upgrade, so. We are going to be purchasing the uh, engine power upgrade, which we've actually got the third fastest engine over on the grid, um, whereas we've got the third worst aero on the grid, so maybe we need to start upgrading aero instead of the engine. Um, but yeah, now it is time to select our goals for today. Which is, uh, yeah, we're going to be a uh, complete weekend with no more than four collisions with another car. For that, that's a pretty simple one to do, hopefully. Um, power unit one is uh, finish better than your teammate in the race, or finish better position in your teammate than qualifying. We're going to go for the qualifier one, um, just because that's a little bit more likely. Um, material one receive. Uh, fewer than three corner cutting warnings per zero during the race weekend. I feel like we can do that, and that is what we are going to do. And then the strategy: earn five championships during the weekend, or perfect the race strategy practice program, which I always do when it comes around in practice. So we are going to be doing that. And uh, yeah, that all being said, we progress time. We actually, get a few more. Um, different number points, but we actually purchased another upgrade. So I went to go purchase the uh, down, rear downforce upgrade, but Bottas has actually purchased both upgrades um, that we were going to do. So he really sort of got to jump on that. But first lap of qualifying now. And uh, yeah, time to see how we sort of fare out, really. Um, yeah, as I said, Jenna is a very, very good shirt circuit for me. So I'm expecting good things as we cross the line. For the first time, we go first, for the time being, with a uh, 130.166. And, uh, yeah, as the flags fall, we only did one lap there. We end up uh, in P10, which is very decent, gets us into Q2, as well as Valtteri Bottas making it into Q2 as uh, as well, which is a very good start to uh, to qualify him. But uh, leaving us in Q1 is Esteban Ocon, Yuki Tsunoda, Kevin Magnussen, Daniel Ricciardo, and Nico Hülkenberg. Um, but now it is time for Q2. Now my first lap of qualifying to this will be. I did wait a little bit later in the session to do this one because I wanted to uh, wait until the uh, the track was gripped in a little bit before uh, before doing our lap but end of this lap now right the way to the finish line and it's only P12 so maybe we haven't got as much pace in as uh, as we thought, so we uh, we start a new lap now. It's our second high lap of Q2. Um, hopefully, it is going to be much much better. Um, yeah, out of the first corner, gaining two temps already, so it's going to be a really really nice lap. I'm gonna gonna watch on board for a little bit. Um, take those sequence of corners very nicely. Four temps gained. There's uh, almost six temps now as we go, a little bit wide, but the uh, FIA doesn't say anything. Um, Piastri ahead of us, 
Poofleen gets out of the way. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I knew it was coming, so I don't, I don't know why I can't act shock. Okay, Shocked, but, yeah, Piastri gets in our way and breaks our front wing. But that is it. That, God damn it. That is our qualifying over. And, uh, uh, it seems like it was over for Bottas as well, as he finishes, uh, just below us. We actually did just about manage to out qualify our teammate. So we've got at least, at least we've got that objective done and uh, out of the way. Oh, we're going to be on him. Uh, but also a little bit of karma is that Oscar Piastri actually doesn't make it into Q3 as well. But uh, yeah, Logan Sargent and Pierre Gasly also join us, uh, being knocked out of qualifying. But now it is time for the race. It's still new to Formula One, but it has fast sweeping corners, already making it a favorite. Welcome to the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. So with Jeddah already being one of the newest circuits in Formula One, it seems that the drivers will now also have to figure out how to tackle it in these unusually wet conditions. Like many other street circuits, this is also a very technical drive. Some of these corners are challenging enough in the dry. It'll be interesting to see how the drivers fare in this weather. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Max Verstappen put in a fantastic lap yesterday and he'll start from pole position. And it's Charles Leclerc in P2. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Sainz, Perez, Fernando Alonso, Hamilton, Norris, Russell, Stroll, Albon, Oscar Piastri, Williams, Bottas, Sargent, Gasly, Ocon, Sonoda, Magnussen, Ricardo, and Nico Hulkenberg rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Welcome to the commentary box. I'm Alex Jakes. Delighted to say that we're joined today by Anthony Davidson. Now, those final hours before a race, did you have a routine? Well, for them, you know, you've got your pre-race rituals that you go through. You see different drivers uh, that, you know, some have got their headphones on, they're listening to the music. Some drivers really absorb the energy from the crowd and they're there waving to them. Other drivers, they go within themselves. They chat to their engineers, absorbing that information, that vital information that you need to carry you through the race. And, you know, those pre-race rituals are essential to making things systematic. We do a lot of Grand Prix in a season and the more systematic you can be, the easier you are within that environment. And here With your grid position, we, we should be able to bring are, a better result than last race. as on, you, you can, can see, it is raining in Jeddah. It's raining in a desert. But the worst thing is, ladies and gentlemen, we can't switch over to Inter straight away. <laughs> yes, we have got this infamous glitch. Um, as we try to play around the strategy, even the projected race time is broken. Does it even tell us anything? But yeah, as I'm recording this uh, this commentary, the patch to fix, the, hopefully fix this, is live. Um, so the next episode will be uh, will be normal with hopefully with this patch. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna have to start on the softs and just see what we can do. Is this the uh, oh, be on it again? As uh. Yeah, we're going to watch the formation there. And we get off the line, as you can see, it's just puddles everywhere. And it's just, oh my god, yeah. We're really going to struggle to even okay, warm so up our good fronts. But yeah. <laughs> god damn, of course it's us that happens to have this glitch. And uh, what makes this worse is a track that I'm really good at. And I love driving as well, which is just ah oh, so annoying. But yeah, end of the formation out. As you can see, like we can't even heat up our front tires, so it's going to be very interesting. Oh my god, I keep thinking about yawning. Then I go to yawn. Oh my god, stop yawning. 
As, uh, yeah, as we go slow now, you can see there are loads and loads of puddles. But I just want to say quickly, okay, this nice year's one. rain effect is absolutely atrocious. Yeah, but as we go to five red lights around Jedi in season one, it's lights out. Now we go racing as we get a mega, mega start somehow. Although trying to apply some throttle, me just instantly like sort of spinning the uh, the rear tyres. Um, as we go around uh, up in the inside of George Russell, is a very very slow getaway out of the second corner, and uh, we're sending down Norris as well, making a little bit of contact there. And I didn't know this at the time, but that little bit of contact actually gave us a little bit of front wing damage. Um, but yeah, as you can see, our fr uh, obviously our tyres at the moment are absolutely dead cold. So we've just got no grip to even like turn in to, uh, to get onto the throttle, but oh god, yeah, it's absolutely atrocious. <laughs> I oh god, I can't believe as we uh, yeah as as I keep saying, just like I was messing with this strategy because we are going to box for the uh, end of this lap for the interns, but I was measuring the strategy and I got off the throttle. So I'm playing on control and it's uh, hard to do those things at the same time. But, oh god, yeah, you can just see how terrible it is to drive as we go past this very far section of corners. We are sliding all about and we go absolutely sliding into the wall on our left hand side and we've lost our front left end plate. Ugh, I mean, it doesn't matter too much as we are boxing anyway, but we are just going to leave, uh, lose a little bit more time as even more. We hit the board again, probably gave us even more wing damage. But yeah, end of lap num number one now into the pits. Uh, Logan Sargent in with us. He, as you can see, he's got even more front wing damage, so God knows what happened to him, but. Yeah, in uh, in the uh, in the box now. Moving on onto the intermediate compound of tyres, switching our front wing there. As uh, Charles Leclerc has actually got nine tenths lead in the in the uh, in uh, P1. This is so uh, very solid start for him during the uh, starting sequence here. But yeah, coming out. Oh my god damn it, I thought of yawns again. <laughs> Pits now. Uh, we need to get our head down and try to just catch up basically. Is that the only thing we can do now is to uh, catch up. As Logo Sergeant goes onto another set of soft tyres, so gonna be a very, very bad race for him. Um but, yeah, we uh, will start sequencing through lap after lap, and uh, just keep an eye on your uh, top left hand sky screens with the, uh, the leaderboard, watch the uh, the times come down each uh, lap that passes, so because uh, we do actually start cashing up, um, quite a fair bit, which just proves that the Intermediate is the right tyre to go, basically. But, yeah, the AI are just not going for it. Which is unfortunate, but end of lap number three, this is. Um, yeah, we check our tyre temps in one second, and... I mean, you guys know what our tyre temps are going to be. So, <laughs> there's that to look forward to as we cross the line now onto lap number four. We set the fast lap of the Grand Prix so far. Um, which just proves, even with the absolute mess of a simulation we are going through, we do have genuine pace around the circuit. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, it's just really unlucky that we got unfortunate during qualifying with the Oscar Piastri uh, breaking 
our front ring so he didn't move out of the way. And, uh, and then this. Rain in Jeddah. Um, well, I was gonna say, but yeah, taking the two attempts there. 106 degrees on the rear right, so like, come on. <coughs> now we genuinely can make a cup of tea with those tyres, like. But yeah, as I said um, earlier, look at the timing boards. We are gaining at uh, quite a fast rate, despite our tyres being absolutely cooked. Um, yeah, very, very annoying indeed, but... Oh God, look at that. 108 degrees now. No, it's actually stupid how hot these times are getting. But, yeah, I mean, we just have to push to it, right? There's, uh, going on to lap number 6 now. You'll see we're now 12, just under 12 seconds away from uh, from Hulkenberg. Um, yeah, just trying our best to manage our tyres, manage the pace. Um, lap, end of lap number 6, 9, just under 10 seconds now. So yeah, each lap we are gaining a few seconds, which is, uh, which is going to be lovely. Shuffling. Um Yeah. <laughs> I'm just waiting for the other transition. There's another transition coming up soon. But I can't remember exactly where it is. Um but it seems like we're just watching the uh, the S sequence of the we'll say the S section on these intermediates actually did quite uh, feel quite fun. And with uh, sort of the old handling model, because this is 117 degrees. By the way, I hope you saw that. Absolutely wild. But yeah, this race is under the old handling system, because uh, as I said earlier, I am recording it. As I'm recording this, the patch has just gone live. Um, recording the voiceover has gone live, and uh, there is a new, well, updated handling system. So. Yeah, next episode we're going to be facing that. But lap number eight, so it's just over, or pretty much seven seconds behind now. We have done a mighty, mighty job of uh, of catching up here. Especially because Logan Sargent is like 16 seconds behind. But on to lap number nine now. They're in the pits. The AI are in the pits. The drivers are in the pits. And most of them have gone onto the hard compound of tyres as Glam Jeff has told us to keep our tyre temps in the green zone. Yeah, sure mate. 121 degrees on the rear rights. So yeah, let me just cool that down real quick. <laughs> oh my god, it is actually ridiculous. Oh my god, it's took me away. Um Oh god, yeah, this this is just atrocious. <laughs> it's so bad. As uh, we get a little bit mixed up there, telling Jeff to go down and shut up. Cause he just like he just he just he just he just waffles the entire race. And it's annoying as we battle Max for a little bit. Honestly, I did squeeze him far too much. Actually, I think he made contact with the ball there a little bit. But I'm just annoyed with this situation. So, uh, yeah, I just decided to, you know, make Max's life a little bit more difficult. As Orlando Norris is out of the Grand Prix, uh, I believe that is just due to a casual um, mechanical failure. So, nothing like contact wise, I don't think. But, yeah. As we, uh, we've actually already passed him, so God knows where he pulled up. But, uh, we didn't even see him, see his car. But, onto lap number 10, Hamilton in the pit, onto the self medium tyres, this is now. Um, yeah, it's a very. The interesting thing about like, this broken simulation 
is that you do get a wide variety of strategies, which is a good thing. It is really good that happens, but yeah, we are boxing at the end of this lap now. Um, yeah, we're going to go on to uh, set of new intermediates, obviously, because we're not going to go on to the dries. But 120 degrees still on that uh, rear right tyre. Honestly, I'm surprised it hasn't uh, given us a puncture yet. <laughs> um, but, yeah. As uh, we make a little bit of contact on the ball there, just trying to drift it into the corner. Um, I don't think that actually. Okay, be careful that did give us damage. Okay. Damage. That actually did give us damage, never mind. Um. But yeah, I don't think it is uh, going to be enough to warrant a, uh, a wing change. But yeah, science one second behind us. I was actually catching us um, very, very fast. Um, this new patch as well should hopefully fix or at least sort of mitigate the. Uh, Overpoweredness of the AI's uh, use of ERS. Because um, it was absolutely ridiculous. But yeah, on to that number 11 now. We are in the pits for a, uh, another set of intermediates. I did put the uh, front wing change thing onto auto. But yeah, as you can see, the team deciding that it is not enough damage to. Uh, Warrant a wing change. Oh, excuse me. But yeah, coming out of the pits. Uh, all the way, Stone Cold, dead last, Steve Austin. In P19. Four seconds behind Holkenberg, so we should... Um, catch the, uh, the group of cars ahead of us relatively quickly. Um, which is... Uh, Going to be very nice. Very nice indeed. Um, okay, yeah. As, <laughs> as we get the funniest uh, mid race objective possible, keep our tire wear under four, basically 14% for four laps. With our tyre temps at the temperature of a nuclear power plant. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> this is funny. As we managed to just about uh, jump Daniel Ricardo, who's uh, just come out of the pits for a medium set of tyres. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could just see. Our tyre on the left hand side just shooting up. But I just think it's funny. I find funny. Uh, maybe you're in here again, god damn it. But. <sighs> and 11 and 12. Trying to uh, catch up. It's hard, but almost loses it there. Trying to make a move, but. Yeah, we, uh, we be patient. We, uh, find a gap around the outside plant. Arthur onto the throttle and uh, we go to make a move around Holkenberg as well. Two for the price of one here as we go really late on the brakes. Uh, Card cross to the racing line and we make both of those moves work basically. Um, onto that number 14. Just like getting off the racing line, try it because apparently there's supposed to be puddles. That cool our tyres down, but as you can see, it is clearly not a thing. Um, well, at least in this version of the game, which is stupid because that's exactly what EA have marketed. But anyway, moving on, the AI are in the pits for the uh, for the second time here, and they've gone on to the m intermediates. So finally. They have actually seen common sense and have decided to put themselves onto the intermediate tyres. But 
Although that is technically a good thing. It is bad for us. Which means it will technically equal our uh, our pace difference that we had. Although I'm wondering, I don't think the AI will get the temperature okay, issues wing really because they've still the got a lot of pace, as you will see a little bit later on in uh, in the race. They've still got like, a ridiculous amount of pace, even on the intermediate tyres. So. Yeah, they don't get higher temperatures, they've got a limited ERS, like, it's just impossible to race, almost, against the, uh, this current AI. But, yeah, we give it no little protective now of uh, not damaging our front wing for four laps, um... But yeah, well, we were trying to catch up to Magnuson, this is now. But we fumbled the uh, that quick left hand, uh, and now we are under pressure. Garment down on me uh, from Carlos Sainz, who is uh, very very eager to uh, to actually make a move by uh, Carlos, forcing us to way way overuse our ERS to even like stay ahead uh, as he backs out of that move down into turn one um, but yeah towards the end of lap 18 where does science go be we just follow the racing line now if he can't get if Carlos can't get beside us then uh, that's his fault although he uh, he will get beside us very maybe that's all this stuff as uh, yeah, he actually sort of sends it down the inside, but we uh, we cut him off, and we remain in P5, this is, after everyone has pit. And as you can see, managed to create a little bit of distance, catching up to Magson once again, but then had a, uh, a little tank slapper, and we lose all of that time that we, uh, that we had gained. But, um... Yeah, <laughs> it's such a difficult race, especially around my favourite track on the grid. It is, uh... oh, excuse me. it is very bad, as uh, we still follow the racing line, no one able to make a move on us just yet, as we focus on getting good traction out of the last corner, which doesn't quite happen. But Carlos signs on our right hand side. And uh, yeah, we try to defend from okay, we lost him. Position. Try to keep focus. Um, sailing around the outside now. Getting on the traction that we barely get. But Sainz uses his unlimited DRS. And tries to come back on us, but we manage to defend once again to keep. Fifth place, you can see we're literally just drifting around the corners now. Um, as our tyres are absolutely dead. As you can see on the bottom right and corners, we get a little bit of a warning there for track limits, which is understandable, but yeah, all of our tyres are just absolutely dead as we come around this corner and it is not this out, never mind. <laughs> Carlos Science pushes us through onto lap 21. Um, as Lewis Hamilton actually sends it down the inside, a very, very uh, risky move there. We force him very close to the wall, but he forces himself through. And, uh, and yeah, we're just unable to, uh, to keep up, basically. There's uh, going through. The S section once again. Um, actually, taking it quite nicely. <laughs> surprise, surprise. As a uh, yeah, in the uh, slipstream of Hamilton. But as we come round this corner here, we get a puncture. Oh my god! <laughs> 
Well, there goes our wing damage. <laughs> and we go a punch. We try to slow it down, but we go into the back of science. And there's the thumbnail shot right there. But. Ah, oh, god damn it. And that is essentially our race over. Um, yeah, essentially our race over, basically. Um, as we go for a nice little replay here, as you can see, we're just like. We're just grinding against the wall. And, uh, yeah, just half, sort of half spinning out there. Um, slowing down uh, the Alpine of Ocon and Mercedes of Russell. But, oh, God, what a sorry sight this is. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> yeah, the tie temps were too much, and our tyre gave out. Basically, um, as we make room for Bottas, because we, we don't want to hold him up, but we come round through the uh, this fast left hand and we spin out once again, and we can't even slow it down, so we just go right into the ball, damaging our uh, rear wing as Hulkenberg re overtakes us, <sighs> and it is a very Sad sight indeed, a very sad journey to the uh, to the pit box, but oh, God damn it! <laughs> Such a good race it was supposed to be, and we uh, we spin out again. Like <laughs> also, this is how terrible this damn uh, rain effect is. Our front left, as not even touching the ground, got that puddle effect. As we uh, accelerate there, but trying to even get into the pits, we spin out and just hit the ball. And uh, our entire front wing is gone now. But, does, let's be honest, it doesn't really matter. We are pulling in to, uh, to the pits, to our pit box, and we are retiring from the race as uh, Sergeant finally overtakes us. Actually no, that is us getting lapped, this is by the way. So it's even more of uh, of a thing to just not continue the race. But yeah, Charles Leclerc wins the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix here in Jeddah. Um, and yeah, as you uh, see the commentators say, two wins in a row. Can Charles Leclerc actually win this driver's championship? We will have to find out, but Valtteri Bottas finishes in P13. And he started in P13, so a very, very average race for him, but... Yeah, I mean, no. What, what 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 can we do generally? What could have we done? We got a puncture. The final were uh, final laps of the race. Um, so yeah, just decided to retire the car as we see our ratings after the Grand Prix. Um, our pace actually going up a fair bit. And our overall rating going up just slightly, but. Oh, yeah. Hopefully, the next race will be better. But, um... Yeah, well, it should be because of the new patch, but... Yeah, so well, thank you guys for watching this video. Um, if, you do, if you enjoyed it, subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment, all of that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Goodbye!